Let's go finish this bitch. Let's make sure I got everything. Okay, 7, 24, 14, first aid, first aid, basically. Magnum, 12, 6, first aid. Yep, 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 yep. Swap to Billy. All right, let's go. Let's get this bitch on and cracking. Let's regroup. Roger. Let's uh, make sure they're together first. <laughs> and then we'll go. All right, guys. Let's do this. Ooh, hold on. Time out. Ooh, fuck, that's the wrong button. My nose is itchy. I don't want these leeches to fuck me up and kill me. Or not, I'll just fuck them all up. Step on it. Squishing. Boom, 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 boom. Bloom. Bloom. Yeah, I guess I only jump out twice. That's crazy. Good. Fuck him. Uh, this way. On the elevator. I believe there's some health in the room before the final boss, too. Not not the first time, but the second time. There should be some health. If not, then yeah, fuck. I know there's handgun ammo, but we don't fucking need that shit. Because <laughs> I don't have a handgun on me. I just want to make sure that she was done with the climbing animation for it. Hit the door and want her to be stuck outside. Just a case, man. Alright, we need to go this way. Alrighty, here we go. Final boss time. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Uh, let's switch to Rebecca real quick. So that she can pick up these uh, magnum rounds. <clears throat> and we can reload. I would rather have ammo than not have ammo and then fucking need it. Alright. She is equipped with the grenade launcher. He is equipped with that. Um, just want to make sure that... Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. Should be good. Alright, let's go! Here we go! Uh, stretch. Ugh. Cracked my ankles, too. Got really dark. Come on, Jesus. Cloud cover. <laughs> Ew, green. Welcome, young one. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Oh, he's a shapeshifter. No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Ass assassinated? <gasps> hey, you recognize that room? Take over your research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. Ooh. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella 
and the world will burn in an inferno of hate. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done. We'll see which one of us is gonna die. Approach it with fire. Ow, the hecker. Out. Fire! Fire! Ow! Fuck! Still get up. Oh shit! Death me! I need to heal. Get it? All right. Yeah. There's really no gimmick to these fights. It's literally just fire. Some of them are like, "Oh, you gotta lure into a certain area." No, no, no. This is literally just fire. The only gimmick is stinger, and I guess kind of um the final phase of this fight, which is not really that bad either. Okay, let's give this to Rebecca. All of it. And then we're going to have both of them pick one of these items up, because we both need them. So that was the first phase. First phase is easy. Second phase is not that bad either. Well, a part of the second phase isn't that bad. Some of it is kind of kind of bad. You'll see what I mean. I believe there's magnum ammo over here. Somewhere this way. Yeah, like, it still gives you room. Like, you can run around and go do stuff, too, but, like... Eh, pick it up, Rebecca. Thank you. Um, I still have a feeling, right? Yeah, 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 okay. All right, yeah, we're good. Come on, Billy. Uh, I believe. I believe that's the only item in here. Is a uniquely shaped key. A small letter L has been engraved in the gold plating. I only left it. <laughs> Whoops, let me pick that shit back up. Alright, right. So, yeah, I believe that's the only item in here is a magnum ammo. I don't believe there's anything else. No, there's not. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Billy, go over here. I'll go alone. Roger. And then Rebecca goes on the left. Boom, 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 boom. Are you serious? I wasn't close enough, apparently. Boom, 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 boom. Bloom, bloom. All right, here's the final save room. Apprentice of Unlocking. That is getting all the keys in the game. So, uh, how you could avoid that, uh, how you could not get that, um, trophy achievement whatever you want to call it um is if you don't get the locker key for the optional uh handgun upgrade that is how you completely miss that entirely yeah look there's two first aid sprays there's the first aid right here there's all kinds of shit man we're gonna leave the handgun ammo because you know obviously don't fucking need it because one i don't have a handgun two just give me 
taken the space. But yeah, the only way you could not get that trophy is if you don't get the locker key from the, uh, the, that, when you're going in the, uh, the facility basement, and you know that room with the, uh, the two play crawlers and next to that box? That's how you could avoid that trophy entirely. Just completely not pick that up and then miss the, <clears throat> the weapon upgrade. But if you do exactly as I did and you go get the key, you then get the Master of Unlocking trophy. So, cool. Uh, we are going to heal Rebecca, though, because fuck this. She's on low cost. That's not what I meant to do. Heal, bitch. Heal, bitch. Okay. Come on, come on. Bop, bop. Okay, and then we will pick up this, obviously. Obviously. Oh, uh, does Billy have space? I, fuck, I need to stop hitting that button. He does. We'll have him save. We'll have him pick up one of these first aid crates too. Because we're going to have him be used for the last segment of the fight. Because it is way easier to survive than it is with Rebecca. I'm going to have her pick this one up. And we'll switch to Billy again. Okay. I don't know how much shotgun ammo I have. But we should be fine. Because if we do it properly and we run into Rebecca during the final fight, um, we can swap weapons and just pick up shit that she ain't using. Alright, here we go. Fact time! Possibly the last one. Actually, the last one. Alright, let's make, let's, let's end it with a bang. Let's see. Um, let's see. Alright, you ready? Did you know that Chris Redfield has had the most redesigns in any Resident Evil game? Or, yeah, Chris has had the most redesigns out of all the Resident Evil characters combined. That's crazy. You gotta think. He was in 1. He's in... Code Veronica. He's in 5, 6, 7, 8. 1. Code Veronica. 5, 6, 7, 8. He's in... Uh, one of the movies? No, two of the animated movies. He's in Death Island and Vendetta. Yeah. I think he makes eight appearances. I think he's the most, like, appeared Resident Evil character. Well, we don't fucking need these. There should be no point having them. Okay. 17, two first aid. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's go. Damn, we got a lot of fucking health. Jesus. Alright, let's go, Rebecca. Yeah, Chris has had the most redesigns. That's crazy. Here we go. There's a lever to control the lift. You might be able to use it to escape. Activate the lift. Yes. Eight appearances that I know of. One. Co Veronica. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Co Veronica. Five, six, seven, eight. And then two movies. What? Yeah. Eight. Eight appearances. It's That's crazy. He's had the most redesigns. My personal favorite design of Chris is an RE5. I I believe that is the best looking Chris that has ever Chris. I mean, the one in 8 looks good. Like the older Chris. The one in uh, Village looks nice. I like that design, but I still think Resident Evil 5 Chris is the best design for him. All buffed out. <laughs> for no reason. Chris has been juicing. He took his loss to Wesker very personal. Alrighty. Same thing applies, just shoot the shit out of it. Oh shit! Reload. Reload. Yeah, same thing applies, just shoot the fuck out of it. Possibly not while you're backed into a corner would be nice, but you know. I like to do things difficult apparently. Low oh, caution, alright. I need to get his attention so he doesn't kill Rebecca. Doom, doom, 
do 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 is a little bit harder. Just a little bit. Only because you now have to protect... Oh, I use Rebecca. You have to protect somebody while they're going around and cranking uh, handles so that they can open the, open the thing. Windows. But I had Rebecca do it because one, she takes bullshit damage and, you know, it's just easier to do it with Billy. Follow me! <clears throat> You work on the windows. Got it. I'll use my charm. To oh, I guess it doesn't magic. matter. I guess it is Rebecca, anyways. Gate operation manual. Don't worry about this. She's just gonna go around and do her own thing. But I will read it anyways. To open the heliport in case of emergency, follow the procedures below. Removing the lock. There are four locking mechanisms in the room which must be activated in this order. One, southwest side. Two, northwest side. Three, southeast side. Four, west side. West side. Turn each of the mechanisms handle to unlock the gate. You don't really have to pay attention to that unless you want to be Rebecca and go do it, but otherwise, I honestly try that again later. Yeah, I don't. I just stick with Billy and just have Rebecca go around and do shit. Why? Because it's fucking easier. Uh, we are going to have Billy swap this up, though. Because I might run, him out, run out of ammo. But yeah, it's just easier to have Billy do it. Obviously, keep him occupied so that he doesn't attack Rebecca and stop her. Come here, you fuck. Alright, there's one. Yeah, this whole part, you just literally have to keep the leech occupied so that it doesn't attack Rebecca and stop her. Ooh, I like that. Alright, we should probably get Rebecca now. Ow! I honestly don't know where she goes, I just go. Ah, fuck! I'm stuck in a quarter! Fuck! <laughs> Damn cutscene! Let me free! Let me free you, bitch! Oh, fuck, we're in danger. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Let me go! Let me go, you fuck! Let me go, you bastard! I don't wanna be stuck in this corner with you! Dog, can you let me go, you fuck? Son of a bitch! I'm about to get gate up in this corner. What the hell? Ah! Fuck! No, the corner again! <laughs> I don't want it! Stop it! Leave me alone, you fuck! You son of a bitch! Oh, God. This fucking cutscene. Again! At least he got me out of the corner. However, we are now out of ammo. I might have to take the grenade launcher from Rebecca. Oh, fuck! Alright, we're out of the corner at least. Jesus. We do need to get him out of this corner though, because Rebecca needs to go over here. Alright, I might have to take some healing from Rebecca, so I need to meet up with her. Hey, Rebecca! Shotguns. Oh! Fuck! Hope he's coming after me. Billy, get up, thank you. I was about to say, you better not fucking die.
acid rounds for the win, bitch. Ow! All right. That's it. That is it. Easiest boss fight. That's it. Damn, he was bullying me in that fucking corner. <laughs> he was fucking me up. Asshole. I was really worried I was going to get stuck back there. I was like, fuck, this is going to suck because Rebecca has to go back here. Hey, Queenie! Feast on this! I like how a magnum round and some sunlight is what kills this thing. <laughs> so goofy. On delay, mijo! You're just now taking those off? Hey, that must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. Yep, there's a Spencer mansion. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. Oh, Billy. Thank you, Rebecca. That's the last we ever see of Billy. Alright, now Rebecca is on her way to the mansion to go meet up with Enrico. But obviously, that shit don't happen. Dun dun dun. And that is Resident Evil Zero, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed the playthrough. I know it was pretty uh tedious and monotonous there at the end, but it happens. It's classic Resident Evil. You can't really help it. I mean you could if you were better at the game, but obviously I'm fucking not, so um but yeah. I honestly give this game a solid B. There's 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 issues with it for sure. The uh, the no item box thing is kind of a pain in the ass. At first I was like, oh that's kind of cool. You make your own item boxes, and then once you play the game and you realize like, fuck, now I have to go all the fucking way back over here to go get this is kind of a kind of a pain. Um, the what else is kind of a problem? The fact that there's not really the level design is kind of weird. It doesn't, like, it takes a while to get anywhere, and the fact that there's really no item boxes really, like, doesn't help that either, because then you're like, fuck! Gotta go all the way back over here. Um, what else? The Eliminators suck. Probably the worst enemy in the whole game, just because they can stun like Yeah, dogs exist, but you don't fight them anywhere beside the train, so after the train, you don't have to deal with them. So the most annoying enemy is the fucking Eliminators, because they can stun lock the shit out of you. Like we saw, they almost fucking killed me in the basement. Um, other than that, it's 
not that bad of a game. I would really like to see this in a remake, you know, considering how well RE2 remake did and how really well RE4 remake did. I would really like to see a remake of this. How they would do it with the two characters, I don't I don't really know how they would go about that. Maybe make it co-op. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but it would kind of... I don't know. It might ruin the whole point of it being single player where you control two characters. I honestly don't know how they would do it if this game were to get a remake. I don't know. I would like to see it remade, though. They could definitely fix things. They could make the level design a little bit better. Uh, they could expand the training facility a little bit. They could probably cut out the whole fucking factory itself or just make it with the treatment plant because you're literally only there to fight the prototype and then you never have to go back to it unless you're you know backtracking to get shit um i mean i guess yeah you go there to also meet enrico but still like you could combine the factory and like the training or the treatment plant into one area so do that uh, what I would like to see done, though, is if they do remake this, is keep, like, all the enemies there. Don't cut out enemies. Because I would like to, uh, as much as I hate this shit, and I despise it, and would never want to see it realized, I would really like to see how a spider would look in RE Engine. I really would. It would scare the shit out of me. But I was like, I want to see what they could look like. They're going to be big, and they're going to be fucking hairy, but... Fuck it, who cares? So, I think that'd be kind of cool. Especially, like, in a remake. You know, imagine, like, you just... Say, let's say they may re they, uh, remake this, right? And you go down the kind of the same route. You do kind of the same things. You still go in the same areas. So, when you do the scale puzzle, and then the, the painting goes down, and you go down into the basement, just imagine the fear of, like, you playing this game, and you're like, fuck, I remember what's down here. And you go down the stairs... You don't hear anything, you're just like, okay, and the lights are kind of like flickering on and off because, you know, power's a little, little fucky since, you know, it's been infected with zombies and shit, you know what I mean. But, like, you, the lights are just flickering just to add to the ambiance, and right as the light's about to flicker off, you see, like, a leg on the roof, and it just fucking, and it just clamps right by the light, and it just flickers, and as the light just keeps flickering, like, it'll, like, pulse, like, in an interval, you just see it just crawling on the fucking wall. And you're just like, oh my fucking god. I think that'd be kind of cool. That's just me. That If they're going to bring spiders back in the RE engine, I think you're going to have to do it with some class. It might have to be done in a cutscene. It might, it might. It could be done like how the liquor was done the first time you fight one in RE2 remake. How it, you're just walking down the hallway and then all of a sudden you just see this fucking tongue come down from the roof and pick a zombie up. I don't know. I just have, as much as I don't want to see one, I have this fantasy of how they could show off the spiders for the first time to make it as scary as that shit was. That's just me. I'd like to see a spider in the RE remake. Just once. After that, you don't have to put them in anything else. Don't. Please, dear God, don't. One is enough. But that's just me. The leech monsters could be looking cool. I think those would look kind of cool. They'd be kind of annoying to deal with, though. Hey, I got a C! Let's go! I beat it faster. Cool. Got a fucking C. Fuck yeah. That took me two less hours. Sweet. Cool. So, I will also, you know, put the screenshot from my Switch and compare uh, results. I also got a different screen. So that's kind of cool. Based on the ranking you get, you did get a different uh, screen. So that's kind of cool. Um, I am definitely going to be... Take a screenshot of that. Um, but yeah, I will compare result screens to this one in my Switch file. Um, I'm glad I got a better ranking, obviously. Um, not obviously, but, you know, I did know what I was doing. It didn't take me nearly as long to get to the treatment plant as I thought it was going to take me since I knew what to do. Um, but cool. I got a C. It's better than a fucking D. That's for sure. Leech Hunter. You can now play Leech Hunter. Oh, yeah. There's a... Uh, Mini games you unlock when you beat it. You can now play Wesker mode. I have no fucking idea what these are. I'm gonna be honest, no clue. So, if you guys would like to see these mini games played, uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I don't know if we'll do like full playthroughs or we'll just do like gameplay videos and just fuck around for a little bit. Um, oh yeah, we can save one more time. Let's do it. 
Let's get our last fact. I lied. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Did you know that the original Resident Evil 1 started development in 1993 and took three whole years to finish? That is crazy. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That is Resident Evil 0, guys. I didn't think it was going to take me that long i probably could have shortened down a couple parts probably could have done it in two less parts but backtracking and all that so sorry but i at least try to make it as enjoyable as i could so i do apologize for that so um but yeah that is a it for that is the it that is the end of resident Evil zero again if you guys would like to see um extras what's this mm. gallery what's this oh all the cutscenes 98 percent. what the fuck am i missing one I'm missing one cutscene? What am I missing? What? What am I missing? I have no idea. That's weird. Huh. I don't know. I'm missing one cutscene. That's kind of bugging me. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah. If you guys would like to see the other game modes played, the Leech Hunter, which I think is just like a collectathon kind of thing, and you can get costumes, I think, out of it. And Wesker mode, I honestly have no fucking idea what that is. But if you guys would like to see those, let me know down in the comments, and uh, I'll look into it. Maybe we'll do it for a stream or something. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. So, yeah. Uh, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough, and I will see you guys in the next playthrough. Oh! Answer. My bad. I forgot to end the... So... Remember, question of the session, I will repeat it once more. Ugh, my fucking roommate's texting me. What creature can decapitate your character? That was a question. So now the answer is the hunter. It has an attack where it will jump at you, and it will slash at you, and if it hits you, I think sometimes it won't hit, it won't one hit kill you, but sometimes it will jump at you and cut you. I think it's when it jumps at you. I can't remember. But it does have a move where it will cut at you or slash at you, and it will cut your head off and just kill you instantly. So, yeah. It's kind of annoying. I think it's only happened to me once in the RE1 remake. I don't think it happened to me ever in Zero. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Uh, don't forget to go down in the poll on my community tab on the channel or on my Instagram. Yeah, or on my Instagram account. And uh, vote for which uh, RE game you would like to see next. I will take both polls into consideration when choosing the victor. If nobody votes, which I hope at least two people vote, that'd be kind of nice. Um, I will flip a coin and decide which one will be next. I don't think it will be the next project, but it will be the next Resident Evil project. So I don't know what the next project is going to be. I will have to take a little more time to think about it and see what I can do for that as well. I still want to do the same. You know what's crazy? We didn't fucking die once. This whole playthrough, we didn't die, so I need to donate $1.25 to a uh, charity. By the way, let me know down in the comments what charity you guys would like to see me and my roommate donate to. He's going to match me. So That's crazy. I didn't die one time this whole playthrough. That is wild. That, I think that's the first Resident Evil game I have gone from start to end without dying. That's crazy. I'm going I'm to pat myself on the back for that one. That's crazy. That's, wow, that's a good fucking thing. I didn't, I wasn't going to say nothing because I would have said it and then jinxed myself, but I was like, holy shit, we really didn't die at all. We got really close several times, but we didn't. That's crazy. That's wild. So, uh, yeah, I need to donate $1.25 to a charity of some kind. Um, anything else I want to say? I don't think so. I gave my review already during the credits. I gave it a, a B, so like an 8 out of 10, I guess. Um, talked about the uh, the poll. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I can think about. So, hope everybody enjoyed the playthrough, and uh, I will see you guys on the next playthrough or the next live stream or whatever I do. So, bye bye, bye bye bye, bye. I miss you guys.